Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about uni and why I chose Warwick University, so let's get into it. So I do want to divide this video into two parts which is um, Warwick University in general and then some aspects more specific to my degree just because I find that it's really hard to choose a university without taking into account your degree obviously but I do think that this way it will be more helpful to everyone and there are some things that did attract me to Warwick irrespectively of my degree so yeah if you guys are applying for PPE philosophy, politics and economics, then you'll also find some tips about that and hopefully that will be useful as well. Let's get into it. So one of the main reasons I was attracted to Warwick, uh, irrespective of my degree, was the campus life. I thought that was really interesting. I think it's really cool when you're just leaving home to kind of have that campus support and environment. I really do think that uh, going into a campus your first year is super helpful. It makes it so much easier to meet people. You're living on campus accommodation, which is so useful. Like the furthest away that you're gonna be, I was living in the farthest away accommodation and it was like probably 15 minutes away from your classes walking, like that's so good. And also it just makes it so easy to hang out with everyone and meet people during your first year which I think is like one of the most stressful things I mean I'm really shy so like for me <laughs> it was a big deal and I was really attracted to that campus culture which I don't think you will find as much in like big cities that obviously you might have more stuff going on you might have more events and stuff um, but personally, I found it really cool to have kind of a um, support system in helping you grow up and adjust to this in the form of a campus life, which also <laughs> means campus accommodation, which is the second big, big point. Um, I think it's so cool your first year, you get to meet people in a way that's really easy because obviously everyone's in the same situation and you're put in a flat with people that are also freshers and that are studying different things so you're not limited to your course, which I find that really, really cool. And it also takes away from the hassle of first year trying to figure out like paying your bills and stuff. It just, I find that to be a big, big plus for me personally. And also what I really liked is after your first year, you're kind of like, okay, I'm done with living life with like 24 people and sharing the kitchen between like 12. And then you move on to Leamington or whatever you want to live, like Coventry, Leamington, I don't know, whatever you want. But I think that's really cool because it leaves you first year to meet the people that you really want to live with or make a huge mistake and people that you don't want to live with, which wasn't my case, but uh, <laughs> second year you kind of move on to the real world and it's cool and it, it's like you're finally like growing up and stuff and I find that really cool. I don't know, I really enjoyed living in Leamington and I also think Leamington is a really nice place to live for the first time because it's a small town so it makes things really easy. You can walk the whole thing and like the transport uni is so easy it's one bus and stuff so i i think it's really cool and i think it's the perfect transition personally for me also obviously there's the reputation of the university i feel like i don't want to talk too much about that but that sh tends to come into consideration when choosing a university um, so I'm just putting it out there. I think Warwick has a pretty good reputation and I think that also transfer into um, what I think are some really good support facilities. Uh, for students and I think that's really cool. They have so much support. Um, they have loads of career fairs. You can talk to so many people about your problems. Your personal tutor might actually be there for you if you're lucky. Um, and Personally, obviously, I'm biased because um, I can only speak to my faculty, but they are so nice and 
they really take into account your problems and if you have anything going on they're really really willing to help which I think is so cool and I just think in general Warwick has some really cool facilities for you to do whatever you want. Those are some big points about the uni that personally attracted me to it and now I'm gonna get into some specifics of why Warwick for PPE. For me, the biggest thing for PPE was the flexibility within the degree and I think most universities tend to have a more focus towards one specific faculty whereas PPE at Warwick really lets you be your own person and you have kind of the first year to give you an overview of all the subjects so you have um, all the core modules from philosophy, politics and economics and then second year you're really more free to choose your own path, see what you're more interested in and I do think um, a lot of people choose PP because they don't really know which one's more interesting between the three or they don't really know what they want to do and that is a huge advantage to be able to to be essentially given an extra year to really find out what you enjoy especially given the circumstances at that uni like they truly show you like what you can study basically and even you can take like business classes and outside of the department classes which I think is really cool my first year I took a um, sociology class on how to properly read research papers which I thought was super useful and I definitely recommend if you're looking through your classes. My second biggest thing I would say is how great um, the faculty is, how supportive they are. The department are so 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 nice like if you have any problem you can email them they will literally message you within like two hours and they're all so nice and so welcoming um and i think that's a really really important thing especially going into like your first year or into a degree that really requires more of like an administrative edge to it so I think that's really important and I think that also goes hand in hand with the fact that the PP society also make sure that you're very like welcomed into your course and they make sure to help you. There's this um, PP parents program so you get um, like freshers parents which is, is really cool. I was parent last year and I had parents first year and it's a great support system for your first year especially getting through um, some difficult classes because our core modules tend to be quite hard and they are, it's so great to be able to just send a message asking someone who that's already done it just like hey can you help me out and they are all so so nice I find that um, they tend to be really helpful and supportive so I think that's really cool and obviously I do need to mention again reputation which repetitive much but it is <laughs> it has a good reputation for PP Warwick um, and I didn't want to leave that out because yeah <laughs> also and lastly <laughs> the study abroad program uh, which I'm gonna talk specifically for BP, but obviously this is a great advantage for the whole university. And I'm doing my study abroad right now in Germany, but there are loads of places, loads of people do it in Australia. I think it's such an amazing opportunity. And I think it's really cool because they let you do 50% of your classes in anything that you want. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful to you in your uni decisions or just if you wanted to find out why I personally chose work. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please do leave them down below and I will be sure to answer all of them and I will link the, all the pages that have the information about work. And yeah, that's it for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like this video and subscribe because it does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for 120 subscribers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. So yeah, thank you so much and see you guys next week.